Welcome back to Rise 360. Now, our first guest can be seen on Netflix original Jessica Jones. And now, he's starring in a comedy that's going to be amazing, trust me. The <laughs> week of, and it's starting this Friday, also on Netflix. Welcome to the show, Mark Ginsburg. Thank you. What How nice are you? Great, yes. thank you. You say what a nice here. introduction, but come on, these are your accolades. Oh, yeah. You did all that. Exactly, exactly. You had the hard stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was fun. It was pretty easy when you're working with like you know Adam Sandler and yeah. Fritz Rock and doing that kind of thing they make it really really easy because it's a uh, it's a family you yeah. know they've been oh, together wow. for such a long time mm -hmm. you know so you just kind of get right into it and you feel like you feel the camaraderie and, and it gets really creative and there's a lot of flow to it it's a lot of fun it's pretty uh, easy mm -hmm. yeah and we've been seeing clips all over for it. I saw yep. billboards all over LA we've seen yeah, yeah, the yeah, commercials yeah. they're really everywhere. pushed for this movie yeah it's great because it's got a lot of heart but it's also like really really funny mm -hmm. and um, you know, it's nice because you have this like middle class guy who's like determined to pay for this wedding for his daughter, and Chris Rock is this super wealthy doctor who's like, uh -huh. look at let me let me throw money at it, mm -hmm. and then you know you learn some lessons, which is um, which is nice, which is you can't be an island, right? Yeah. And um, you need help. You got to ask for it, and uh, and you know you just can't always throw money at things to solve certain problems, oh, yeah. and they kind of you know they get those lessons um, right away. It's mm -hmm. pretty it's pretty it's pretty nice to watch. And it's been as the wedding comedy of the year. Ooh. So yeah. what can we expect? A, little, a few little exclusives oh, for wow. us. Oh, wow. You know what? It's like my big fat Greek wedding yes. and father of the bride. <laughs> right. And it's like all kind of, it's it's great. I don't want to give too much away, but no. I will say, I will say there's there's magic in it. <gasps> okay. Yeah. And um, I do some running. Uh-oh. You know? And Wait, uh, wait, wait a minute. You went from yeah. magic <gasps> yeah. to running? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm run well, I don't want to see. I can't Come give it away, on. but I'm in just I'm in full sprint. You're going to be seeing me okay. run okay. heartily. Well, well your yeah. character Jay, is, he's more of a straight laced kind of play by the book guy. Absolutely. Right. So yeah. in real life, are you like that? And do you do a lot of running in real life? <laughs> you know, I started to. I honestly, oh, no, I after this movie, because they had me run, I was like, you know what? I got to get in some serious shape. Oh, wow. And then I started running again because of it. Um, so that means so, you were huffing and puffing during the scenes. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 one of those things where where when you're doing the film and and you're in it and you realize, God, you know, I'm a lot like. Jay. You know, there was a lot about him that I was like, wow, I really am more like this guy than I thought. I mean, he's the, he's the, he's kind of like the quintessential granola, you know, touchy-feely dad. He's yeah. like the eternal optimist about things. And I would like to think that I'm optimistic. Maybe not yeah. always. I don't know. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you seem fairly optimistic to me. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks so good much. character yeah. trip. Well done. Thank you. Now, you are clearly a wonderful person to work with because you've been in the industry for over 20 years. Yeah. What has your career been like? It's been, you know what? It's been amazing because I've done a little bit of everything. Yes. I've done a lot of theater and I've done uh, film and, and TV. And I would say the one thing that I can take away from it now is that when you work for that long, it ultimately it, it comes it comes down to the work and wanting mm -hmm. to tell important stories yes. and wanting to do stuff that has some kind of longevity. I was I was watching this uh, really interesting documentary on Arthur. Miller, you know, the mm -hmm. playwright, uh, Rebecca Miller did the, the documentary, and he said, and it was so powerful, he goes, you know, art is long, life is short. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And it just made me think, it's like, you know what, we want to be part of those projects and do those things that, like, you know, have some have some real meaning, you mm -hmm. know? And um, so I'm just fortunate. I'm glad to be working and doing what I do for this long, you know? Yeah, and That's you've been great. doing it well, not only in movies like this one, but also television, theater. Do you yes. have a favorite medium that you like to gravitate to more? You know, that's a great question because they're so different, you know? Mm -hmm. Film is about pictures. And 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 theater is about words, really. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So when you're doing a play, it's all about like the art of repeating it, mm -hmm. you know, night after night. When you're doing a film, it's all always going to be like, okay, what can you do next? Mm -hmm. Give me something different. You know what I mean? Um, so they're very different, and the way you prepare for that is very different. But 
I think that it ultimately it comes down to like the character, the role that you're playing. As an actor, you kind of find different ways into different parts. Yeah. Sometimes it'll be the way uh, a guy talks. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it'll be the way they walk. Mm -hmm. um, I did a, a lovely play um, a couple years ago uh, called Disgraced, and it was all about the arguments in the play. So it was mm -hmm. like, okay, I'm gonna find my way in from this argument, you know, mm -hmm. this, this, this guy's point of view, you know? Wait, explain so that different. concept to me a little bit. Uh, Finding sure. your way in from an argument. Right. So you want to, when you're, when, when you're working, I think most actors want to try to identify with the role they're, they're, they're playing, right? Mm -hmm. You want to find some kind of common ground. And that play, the argument of that play is so powerful in a lot of ways that if you don't really get behind what your character is really kind of wanting to prove, right, mm -hmm. then you're in no man's land. So I spent a lot of time really understanding the ins and outs of what I was arguing for and, 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 oh and, and what my kind of point of view on the world and in politics was about. And I don't know if that's necessarily the case with, you know, with Jay. You know, <laughs> Jay, <laughs> the week up, it's, it's very complete. different. You know, exactly. But it has its own <laughs> tremendous value, do you yeah, know what I mean? Because yeah. when you're working with somebody like Adam Sandler, he's, he's, um, he's an exceptional actor. I don't know mm -hmm. if you ever saw Punch Drunk Love or yeah. I mean he's a really really good actor and he understands actors so mm -hmm. he creates this environment on set where there's a lot of flow and rhythm like he'll, mm -hmm. he'll be filming and there's like music do you know what I mean and oh. he'll purposefully get you into a kind of a, a flow oh, so that when you're working that. you know what I mean you go right into it exactly so your real life on set is almost as artistic as the art that you're depicting I, I would think it kind of bleeds over it's I mean the same with Chris Rock I mean he's amazing because he's constantly creating Creating. He's he literally he had us in hysterics the entire time. <laughs> How He's did you stay focused? You, you, you don't. You just gotta roll with it. <laughs> Whatever. You know? Seriously, because that's what it's about. They have this uh, like real kind of like energy that way, and it's infectious, uh, and it's fun, uh, and it's really good food. Oh, really, really good food. We like food. Yeah, yeah, with those Madison two cultures coming food. together, yeah, I'm yeah. sure as well. It was great. Good yeah, dinners. Really great food. Yeah. Wow. And a wonderful amazing. cast. Great people. Well, you really. know, you also work with another amazing cast on Jessica Jones, yes. which is like a fan favorite. People are addicted to the show. Congratulations yeah. on season Thank three, you. by the way. Thank you so much. Yeah. Awesome. Why do you think people gravitate to it so mm. much? I think because it's really, really human. You know, you mm. have a you have a superhero that is kind of psychologically very fragile, but physically incredibly strong. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And so that kind of like contradiction is really interesting. Um, but Melissa Rosenberg, the, the creator of the show, is a is an exceptional writer, and she she really creates three dimensional characters. And even the supporting characters, you know, the, the role that I played, Stephen Benowitz, very full and complex mm -hmm. and not not easy to inhabit, mm -hmm. challenging, but brilliant, you know what I mean? And when you can do that, when the entire kind of like environment is that kind of built and full, it makes for a really compelling show and, yeah, and you, you, you really compelling. track it and, you know, you mm -hmm. stay plugged in, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Now, would you say that you were attracted to Marvel comic books or comic books in general prior? <laughs> to getting on the ship? I was. Really? That's, yeah, that's <gasps> wild that you said, do I look like a total like comic book nerd? <laughs> I am saying nothing. I'm joking, I'm joking. I do. Oh, no. I, that could be a good thing. You know, I'm, I was. I was a total comic book nerd. I was really into the Hulk. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so wow. when this came around, okay. I was like, I gotta be on a Marvel show. I have to be. Yeah, I loved the Hulk as a kid. Oh, because what, I mean, the, the Hulk becomes a superhero from anger. Exactly. I mean, you know, you're always taught as a kid, don't be angry. Do. So when you see the superhero become that powerful, from their anger, yeah. oh my God! You're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, got, really I gotta empowering. get angry more often. And you become yeah. invincible too. Why well, can't be that? Exactly. exactly. Okay. So Amazing. then, if you had to pick a superpower, what would it be? Ooh. You know what? Only one. Okay, okay, I think that's a great question. I feel like you thought about this a right. lot in your life. I'm glad I'm giving that, you know, message, giving, letting you guys uh, see that. Um, I, I don't, you know, I don't actually know. I will say that my, probably, the, the one superpower I would love to have is be kind of like um, incredibly... Um, Physically strong. I think that would be amazing. All or you know time? what? To fly. Just to fly. Ooh. I think that would be it. Yeah. Okay. Why? Yeah. Why to fly? Because I, you know, there's something about just kind of like not giving in to gravity that mm. is like, wow, you know, how, you know, how do you, how do you defy gravity in in life? It's this constant force that's always there, reminding us that we're human. Oh. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, I don't know. Where are we going here? I'm going off. Okay. 
I'm getting very, deep. very, like very this. deep up here. Oh, no. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it'd probably be to fly. That Truth is Truth be told, really, I would just want to fly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fair I enough. know it's pretty kind of like not terribly complex, but there you go. No, but it, but it is. In its, own, in its own form, in its own manner, it is kind of yeah. complex. I mean, I'd cool. love to fly because I like to travel mm. and I just don't want to keep paying for tickets. So <laughs> I just, right, right, <laughs> right. There's right, something right. freeing about the essence yeah, of Yeah, that able to too, fly. but who wants to pay for tickets? The reality of it. Now, I want to dial it back to the plays that you've been in because you yeah. mentioned watching Arthur Miller and one of the quotes. Well, who is your favorite playwright and why? Uh, my favorite playwright is probably Chekhov, Anton Chekhov, and probably because he was so interested in what's going on between people. Yes. But a lot of people would say that Chekhov is a little one sided and that it's really, really good for the actors, but it doesn't mm. always totally land for um, audiences. But if it's done well, it's pretty transformational. Mm -hmm. It's it's amazing. Um, yeah, he would definitely be my probably my favorite playwright. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. And I had the, the privilege of, of doing a number of his plays with um, a dear friend, Olympia Dukakis, who is okay. uh, a phenomenal actress and uh, just kind of like a mainstay of American kind of theater royalty. And uh, and she kind of really, in, in a lot of ways, mentored me and, and taught me kind oh, of an appreciation wow. for, for for Brecht great. and Chekhov. <laughs> <laughs> and on all of that, yeah, absolutely. Well, do you have any yeah. plans or hopes to venture back to the stage anytime soon? You know what? I would love to. I mean, if anybody is doing Vanya, I'd love to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to. Seriously, I would, I, I would really love it's to like do Uncle Vanya. <laughs> absolutely, I would wow. love to play Uncle Vanya. Absolutely. Okay. And then that little um, plug. If there's anybody yeah. out there who's watching, yeah, yeah. Is, you know, firing. <laughs> He's here, um, ready. Call him up. <laughs> no, but I'm gonna. You know, if, if, um, a, a really wonderful actor, mm -hmm. filmmaker, uh, Jace Bartok. He 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 wrote. Uh, something called The Cake Eaters a while back in 2007. Uh, has a wonderful script called The Prince of Soho, so that's what we're looking to do next. All right. Which will be so really you have exciting. to come back on when you do that. That would be him great. With you. Okay, and before Excellent. we let you go, Katora is dying to ask one last question. Yeah. <gasps> What is next for you? No! Yeah. I love the question I'm going to ask. Avengers! Oh, it comes on. out Friday. Right. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, Avengers he, put, he put that in my mouth, but really he's the one that wants to okay, watch it. Is he me. said he was going to be me. in line tomorrow. Yeah. Not I even am. on the Thursday. day, like in the morning. I mean, so I know. it's him. It's me. I just I didn't want to admit that I was a big blurb as well. I don't want yeah. <laughs> okay, so you have to tell me. Are you going to be in line? Are you going to see it? Have you already seen it? Of What's course I'm going to be in line. I mean, you know, I love Marvel, so I'm going to be there. I'm really excited for this. This is huge. It's like he's he's going to be in line. He's going to be in line. He's a regular person. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah, like, yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah, it yeah. already. I have the copy at no, home. You know, I'm, and I'm, I'm excited to see what happens in this because yes. there's a lot mm -hmm. of different things going on. I mean, how, the cast is huge. Yes. Yeah. It's like every superhero ever, right? In the right. I mean, really, it's, it's everybody. In the universe. Yeah. It's great, yeah. So after this one, then Jessica Jones can get her own theatrical release and you guys can go to the box office. That would be amazing. Um, okay, so now the God's ear. Yeah, yes, that would be Marvel. amazing. Now, now can up. I ask what's yes, next okay. for you? Sorry, yes. <laughs> what's next is, you know, The Princess Soho. That's that's yeah. what I'm looking, you know, most excited about. We're focusing on that for 2018. I, absolutely, because it's a beautiful movie. It's got a lot of heart. It's a mm -hmm. really a wonderful script. I mean, it's uh, it's a really a coming of age story yeah. okay. and I'm excited to be a part of it. Yeah. Well, we'll look forward to hearing more about that and you can see the week of starting Friday on yes. Net Netflix. Check yes, him out. Indeedy. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank we'll you so much. Right back. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.